Hey folks, so I'm out here. I said I was gonna start gardening, so that's what I'm doing. I got all my stuff, I'm ready to get to work tonight. Um, so I just wanted y'all to come along with me as I start this gardening project. So like, as you saw in my last video, it's really not hard to set these up, especially since I put the nails up. So what I do is I just, cause these are seasonal plants. So um, I just, whenever I'm in the mood to brighten my gardening area up, I just put my potters in. I don't even change the potter. That's how it goes, you guys. Actually, I'm going to get my... So yeah, I got that done. Now I'm gonna move to the backyard and start planting um, my vegetables. I got some um, yellow bell peppers, red bell peppers, tomatoes, and um, Brussels sprouts. So I'm gonna head to the back and start that project. So now I am carrying my soil. back of the house. So I'm in the backyard is where 
um, most of my plants, I mean my vegetables in the back, hidden out of the way. Um, I, like I said before, I want to grow, have some high rise garden beds, but um, when I went to Home Depot, their cutting machine was down. So um, just to start off, I'm starting with this big pot. I got my garden soil and my topsoil. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that. I'm gonna probably put some water down first and then go from there. basically what it looks like starting off again this is just one potter with a few things I got some red cabbage some bell, red bell peppers some green bell yellow bell peppers um, some Brussels sprouts some tomatoes and I think that's it so this is one I, I hope to have like a row a row full of um, vegetables going around our house but just starting off with this one and we'll see how this does and this is my black cat night <laughs> she's hungry I would have had my rabbit out here you guys but she's a little scaredy cat and I still need to get like the outside gate for her to be protected. But night, she's pretty much wild. She comes and goes as she pleases. <laughs> Nighty-whitey. So yeah, she became an outside cat because she kept leaving the house at night, sneaking out the front door whenever somebody would go outside. She would run and speed out the door and wouldn't come back till sometimes the next day. Um, and then she would bring in the house all types of fleas and bugs. And on top of that, she has really bad conjunctivitis. And she would also always get the goop. And I'm a very clean kind of person, so I didn't like that. So we just decided she would just be an outside cat, and so now she's just kind of like the neighborhood cat. But we still, you know, do what we do for her. And she's very picky about the food. She won't eat dry food, only wet food. And she loves, she loves friskies. <laughs> 